What's up, guys? Here at Orlando Hamcation, checking out something that is new to me, at least. Messi and Poloni. Messi and Poloni makes coaxial cable, but not just any old ordinary coaxial cable. And what you'll see here, exclusively distributed by MFJ. So I stopped by and saw MFJ. Messi and Poloni, um, been in company about since 1946. Okay, and this isn't just regular coax. We're gonna talk to uh, the gentleman here and he's gonna give me a rundown of what this is. But for you guys that are wondering, what's the best coax? Why should I buy this? Why should I buy that? Let's take a, a, a talk with him and see what he says about his cable. Okay, this is Stefano Messi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. He's gonna give us an idea about this coax because I'm very interested in a lot of people a lot of you viewers on my YouTube channel, you always ask about coax and what's a good coax. So I discovered this and they're going to be exclusively distributed with MFJ. So Stefano, tell me about this coax. Now, give me a rundown of why this is better coax. What does this stuff mean? Show me. Well, uh, our company has been established 70 years ago and we've got a quite a long experience about the manufacturing of coaxial cables. Uh, we do export in Germany since 32 years and, uh, and we are making the, the, the ham happy, the German ham happy. And the, you know the Germans are uh, very exacting people. Look, we have got several cables uh, which could suit to everybody needs. Uh, starting from smaller ones like this one which is called Ultraflex 7 and these are 0.300 uh, inches cable. Uh, which can uh, be a substitute of uh, uh, RG213U or RG8. Uh, Why? Because uh, the, the attenuation are such that can be fully uh, a substitute and uh, it is so flexible and so lightweight that does make a miracles for uh, when you have a, a rotator operated antenna. Uh, this is a, the official cable of the WRTC 2018 in Germany. So the Germans have chosen this cable for all the teams that are, will be competing. Now you, you said this is the size of RG8 or 213, right? Oh, no, no, this is a smaller, a smaller size. Smaller this, size. Is a, this is a 0.300 okay. and the LMR 400 or RG213U is a 0.400. Okay, so smaller. Yeah, it's smaller. Yeah, smaller. But yeah. comparable in specifications. Yes, comparable, oh, okay, very com good, very com good. comparable to RG8. Right. Yeah. Uh, and at the high frequencies, even better. Okay. Uh, if you want uh, it's the same size, of a G213U or LMR400, which is 0.400, we got uh, quite a wide choice. Uh, starting from, let us start from our, from the solid course. The solid course is a, uh, this a, uh, this is a totally made of copper cable. For people who love, uh, these are, this metal. And uh, it's a uh, Pro Pro 50 competition, and uh, it's a competition because it's really very very high, very very low attenuation. But 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 uh, all copper, you said. Whole whole I, copper. I know LMR 400 is not all copper, and this yes, it's it, it, solid it, it, copper it, it, and a copper grade. Yes, exactly. As you can see, I, I now I, I'm stripping with the special scissors, which have been made post for uh, specifically for. The, the stripping of, of the of the cable. Do you the sell the scissors too? Oh yes, we sell it. Very good. Yeah, yes. a copper a, foil and copper yeah, grade. Yeah, this is a copper foil. Yeah, totally made of copper. Yes, copper is one side and polyester on the other side. Yeah. In, in order to prevent cracking if the cable is bent. Right. And uh, and also inside we have got a solid core, all made of copper, as you can see. see. Okay. Yeah, and the braid as well is not in copper or aluminum. Uh, this is a, is a a braid made of copper. Wow! So I'm gonna guess that with it being copper, 
you say that there's a lower loss per foot than a traditional LMR 400. Oh yes, it's a lower loss. It's a lower loss. So a lot of people are going to be interested because with this at high power, they'll get more. They'll have less loss at longer runs. Of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, one interesting thing in our catalog is that we are describing uh, for each one of our cables. Uh, we are describing exactly uh, how much power left according to the frequency right. or the cable length in feet and all this data. For instance, let us say uh, this cable at 28 megahertz after, let us say, uh, 328 feet, we've got 61.1% of the power left. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we want uh, something better, we have got to go to a bigger side. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we are giving the data up to 984 feet. Now, if yeah. you flip a page, is there a bigger cable in there? What size oh, is that? Oh, one? Yeah, so, uh, yes. So let's see that again. You said 28 megahertz at 328 feet. Oh, right? oh yeah, sure. Yeah. So 28 megahertz at our. Let, let, let us take it in, uh, in comparison, for instance, our 328 feet, okay? Okay. So it's a uh, 69.1 power left. Okay. Yeah. 69.1 at 100 feet. Yeah. Excellent. 71.3. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the, that's a bigger. So so depending on the needs. It's, it's, it's 100 meter. So it's 328 feet. Oh, okay, 100 meter, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and uh, this is a half an inch cable, and it's called uh, Hyperflex Protein. And uh, it's, uh, it's very good for uh, for people who need uh, to have very high power. Uh, how, many, how many watts will that handle? Oh, uh, look, uh, uh, the, the big power is 20 kilowatts. Oh, but okay, yeah, good. but depending depending on the frequency, these are these are the point where you destroy the cable. Right. Yes. Higher frequency, probably lower. Yeah, lower power yeah, yeah. Power. Yes, but yeah, at 28 megahertz, you have got 4.9 kilowatts. Right. At uh, 104 Fahrenheit. But here you can see that we have our we have shown a table, a special table, where you can evaluate. Uh, which should be the amplification according to the temperature on the cable. So 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 158 Fahrenheit. At 28 megahertz, I can amplify 7.6 kilowatts if it's very cold, but if it's going to be very hot, it's 2.7 kilowatts. Right. And I'm talking about transmission RTTY. So oh, a full duty cycle. Yeah. Right. So so in SSB it can be doubled. Right. Very easily. Now tell me, uh, show me another one here, another uh, section. Oh, yeah, oh, oh yeah, sure. For, for people that want um, so, like a mobile environment, maybe they don't want the big LMR, they want a smaller cable. What would be good for them in your uh, oh, brand? Look, I, we, yeah, we 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 can we can go back to this cable, which is a rather. Rather as well as the point three hundred, and the one I've, we have been talking about before, or we can go to smaller ones such as uh, this one, which is called Airborne Five, which is a, a same size of our G fifty eight, extremely light in uh, light, and uh, also very very performing. Uh, and that's bendable too. Yes, it's a it's a, these are bendable and variable. But if you want something much more bendable. You've got Hyperflex 5. Ah, I see. So you have a different one for flexible and a different one for... Yeah, okay. exactly. One for the, the one if you are looking for uh, um, waterproofness and lightness, and the right. other one if you're looking for flexibility. Okay. So tell me, tell me now, because I know a lot of people are going to wonder, what is the price like? Is this comparable to a, a, a brand name coax that someone already buys? What, what kind of prices do we have in comparison? Oh, look, I... If we are talking about Hyperflex 5, for instance, which is totally made of copper, so Hyperflex 5 Hyperflex 5 is at 0.62 per foot. 
62 cents a foot. Yeah, but okay. the, but buying buying a, a, a hundred feet is 66 dollars. Right. Buying 150 feet is 87 dollars. Okay. And that is corresponding to LMR 240. So the equivalent to LMR 240, you're charging 62 cents a foot. Mm -hmm. And and a, a lot better coax than a standard LMR 200. Oh yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah it's, it's better for the attenuation and also as is made with a, as totally made of copper. So it's also a better value right. for the money. Now let me ask you this: Do you make one that's direct burial? Yeah. Look for direct burial. I would suggest uh, airborne ten. Okay. Oh, let me see. Uh, what about this one? It has the, uh, the the double. Yes, we 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 have, we got we got double a double offer actually. Yeah. Uh, this one is a Bro Pro 50 double jacket. Double jacket. Yeah. So it's a, a very similar cable to the first one we have been talking about, but we applied two jackets and plus a flooding or petrol jelly over the braid in order to make it totally. What the proof? So that can be direct burial in the ground and yes. Okay, very yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, with so a copper braid and a second shield around there, with, much like uh, if you're familiar with the buried RG8X, they have um, for cable TV. They have the jelly in the middle and then another uh, shield around it. That's yeah. pretty much what this is doing here. Yeah, it keeps the uh, waterproofing in there. Yeah. Otherwise, there's a, a there's a there's a this cable is a jolly. I mean, uh, this is a cable which is very similar to LMR 400 uh, in the fact that it has got a polyethylene jacket instead of PVC, so it can be variable as well, and in the sense that it's got the inner conductor in, uh, in copper clad aluminum like LMR 400, uh, but the, the tape is uh, in copper, and the braid is copper clad aluminum. and. Uh, the, the, the final result that is a, the lightest cable in, in, the, in the trade at this moment and with, a, with extremely good performances for attenuation. So extremely lightweight, uh, very good attenuation, extremely good screening efficiency and also very competitive price. Very good. I, I've learned a lot about your coax and you know, um, I'm sure there's going to be, I wish I could grab a bunch of catalogs. I know a lot of people are watching this and are probably interested. Uh, your website, I'll put it in the description, but can you tell me uh, where you can purchase this right now? Can you purchase it through MFJ? Oh yes, yes. The MFJ, they have started stocking these goods. Uh, they've got stock at present. Uh, not exactly all the models, but the most important ones. So uh, they've got our special connectors. Uh, we've got the UHF connectors. Uh, and, and, that yeah, right yeah. And, and and our connectors, you see, this is the packaging. Turn the light on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are the step by step instructions, which are also available in the in the website, in the Messi and Poloni and website. Okay. Yes. The the site is uh, www.messi.it. Very good. Yeah. Turn around again. See the connector. Yeah, there yeah. These are, these are connectors made in Italy, and it's part, they are special because uh, they have got the air compression system, uh, with, which is a it's a, it's a rubber cylinder that is expanding when you are tightening uh, together the two parts of the connector, so it prevents moisture to get in, and uh, at the same time, uh, there is this, uh, this special tool that you are placing over the tape uh, and underneath the braid so you don't need to solder the braid. Oh, very yeah. good. Yeah, so uh, this particular plus this particular is making the difference towards the, the, the traditional PL259 that everybody knows. Right. Yeah, that's not just a standard one, that's a high quality one there, that's a good one. Yeah. For a long time, you know, for, uh, looks like for a long time use. Yeah, exactly. Lower loss too, I bet. Yeah, lower loss, but uh, uh, all the cables so that we are offering uh, are um, guaranteed for 105 dB screening efficiency, but provided that they are coupled with uh, with these connectors. Right. Uh, let us say that the size of the cables is standard, so uh, you can use uh, either 
the other connectors on the market for the same size, or you can use these connectors for the other cables. What does a connector so, like that run? How much? Oh, uh, look, the, this the the the, the the BL connector, the UHF connector, uh, is sold by MFJ at the seven dollars fifty each, and the, the end connectors eight fifty. Okay. Well, there's people out there that are very picky on their connectors and they want a good one. And if they haven't seen these yet, this is a good one. Oh yeah. Stefano, I've appreci I appreciate your your time. Look, you got coax rolls here, hundred foot, two hundred foot. Yeah. Uh, I would like uh, yes, to, to show you also this is the end connectors. In the end, in the end connector there are two pins and you've got just to solder on, on the little hole in one of the, uh, of the two pins. Right. One pin is for the very flexible cables with the stranded inner conductor and the other pin is for the solid cores which are uh, slightly smaller. Right. Yeah, I didn't show, uh, in all these things I didn't show you uh, one of our best sellers in Europe. Yeah, uh, this is called the uh, Hyperflex stand. Okay. Yeah, is uh, the best for performances and for flexibility you can you can find around the market. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I know that when I had an LMR 400 and I bent it like that, I broke it. Oh yeah. This stuff looks like you can bend it a lot or with a rotator maybe. No. It's, yes. It's okay yes. for a rotator to go back and forth. Yeah, look, look it's, uh, it's exactly specifically made for rotators. Yeah. You don't need to. Uh, to put uh, enough, uh, more than two connectors and one cable. Uh, normally, uh, they are going up the, the aerial with, uh, with a stiff cable. And then they put and, a, and the, and a thin one for the bending. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And, uh, and uh, the, in order to, uh, uh, to, to prevent the breaking of the cable, they have to, to put two more connectors and one, uh, one flexible cable. Right, now you got more points of contact yeah. than Yeah, but with this cable, you don't need to pay, make anything else than this cable and two connectors. So no more, in, uh, not more than two insertion losses instead right. of four. Right. So this is a very big solution. Very That's good the solution. Ultra, uh, Hyperflex 10. Yeah, Hyperflex 10 is the first in its class in Europe for attenuation and flexibility. Very cool. And it's all made of copper. All solid copper, very cool. Well, I appreciate your time, Stefano. Thank you very much for giving me the time. And uh, uh, any yeah. questions or comments, I'll try to answer them below. You can uh, stop by MFJ website for more information on this cable and for sales. Thanks for watching and 7-3. Thank you, Stefano. Oh, thanks to you.